Moving on to the next problem. It says this, if I have 50 liters, uh, if I have a 50 liter container and it holds 45 moles of gas at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius, what is the pressure inside the container? So you may read a problem like this and be like, I'm clueless, I don't know where to start. Well, again, I encourage you go through and label what kinds of variables do you have? Do you have volume? Do you have more than one volume? Do you have multiple temperatures? Do you have one temperature? Do you have moles in there? So we're just gonna go through and label. The first thing I see is 50 liters. That is a volume. Then we have moles. This is N, number of moles. We have a temperature. This is T. And it's asking for pressure. And we always know R, okay? R is memorized. So this is definitely the only the only variables we have here match P, V, N, R, and T. So this is a PV equals NRT problem. This is an ideal gas law. Remember this is called the ideal gas law. So this is an ideal gas law problem. So the question says what is pressure? So I'm going to rearrange this equation to solve for pressure divide both sides of the equation by volume and volume cancels out on the left side so what we're left with if we rewrite this is pressure equals n number of moles times r times t divided by the volume now remember before we just go plug these numbers in we have to make sure the units match what is given on r so let's write out what r equals R equals 0 0.0821 liters times ATM mole times Kelvin. So our volume, yep, we have units of liters, check. Um, we have units of moles, check. We have, uh oh, we don't have units of Kelvin, we have degrees Celsius. So I'm going to take temperature, I'm going to convert it to. Kelvin, so 200 degrees Celsius, which is a really, really hot, plus 273.15 equals 473.15 Kelvin. Now we have Kelvin, check. So we are good to go. So now we just plug everything in. P equals number of moles is 45 moles times R, which is 0 0.08. Two one, and it is units of liters times ATM over moles times Kelvin. So that's um, N times R. Now we'll do times T, which is four seventy three point one five Kelvin, and that's all divided by volume. And our problem says we have fifty. 0 0.0 liters. Let's go through and make sure the proper units cancel out. I have sometimes what people will do is they'll bring this mole times Kelvin down here into the denominator since it technically is in the denominator. So if you write it either way, um, as long as you know how to cancel your units. Kelvin, we have it on top and on bottom. Those cancel. Moles, we have it on top and on bottom. Those cancel. Liters, we have it on top and on bottom, so those cancel. So we're just left with units of ATM, which is what we want for pressure. So pressure equals, now we will plug all this in, 45 times 0 .0821 times 473.15, and we're going to divide that by 50 Pressure is 34.96 ATM, and that is our answer. That is the end of that problem. Okay, moving on. All right, next problem says, it is not safe to put aerosol containers in a campfire. I would assume not. Uh, because the pressure inside the canisters gets very high and they can explode. Um, if I have a one liter canister 
that holds two moles of gas and the campfire temperature is 1400 degrees Celsius what is the pressure inside the container um, okay so you read a problem this is a seems like a big word problem there's multiple sentences here again if you don't know where to start just label what variables you're given I see a temperature right here I see moles of gas okay I'm gonna label that number in uh, we're given one liter okay part of it here part of it there that's a volume all right volume and it wants to know pressure it's asking for pressure so look what variables we have p t n and v uh, and we always know r so this is a pv equals nrt problem again okay um so we'll write out p v equals nrt just like i think in the yeah problem before we were solving perfect for pressure again the question is asking what is the pressure so we need to rearrange the equation to get pressure by itself so we'll divide both sides by volume and you get pressure equals nrt divided by v okay uh, remember before we can just throw these numbers into the equation uh, r equals 0 0.0821 and the units on that make some room here are liters times ATM over moles times Kelvin so we have moles we have liters what we don't have is Kelvin we have degrees Celsius so we're going to take temperature which is 1400 degrees Celsius convert that to Kelvin by adding 273.15 and you should get 1,673.15 Kelvin. Okay. Um, now, I believe we can plug everything in. We have moles, liters, Kelvin. We're good to go. So here, pressure equals number of moles, which is 2 moles, 2.0 times R, which is 0 0.0821. And again, I'm going to write the units the way I was illustrating or indicating last time. You can It's equally fair to do this. Liters times ATM on the top. And moles divided times Kelvin on the bottom. Okay, these are all the units of R. It's okay to write them this way too if that helps you. If it confuses you, just do it the way we did it in the previous problem. Uh, our temperature is the last thing we multiply on top. 1,673. 0.15 Kelvin and on the bottom we should have uh, 1.0 liters okay cross out units moles on top moles on bottom liters on top liters on bottom Kelvin on top Kelvin on bottom we are left with ATM which is what we want for pressure now we just plug it into our Calculator, 2 times 0 0.0821 times 1673.15 and divide that by 1 and your pressure is a whopping 274.73 ATM. That is a very high pressure. Okay. Hey.